And if yeah. one more person says that, I'm going to pull a tarot on them and say, go, go ahead and hang out with these people. Yeah. Then. <laughs> God, have a blast. I'm glad you have who you want there. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, so, plus, as I said, which, yeah, it's not the most enticing, but there's no guarantee that you can do that. And it's like, if that person's the target, then you're, you might have a scenario where they never even go up. Right. And that's not going to do anything for anyone. So, I'm a skeptic. I'm a little skeptic. But I don't know if you remember, but like, yeah. earlier movie, Ellen's Taylor Shift was in that. No, LNC for me tonight. Dustin. Have a good night. Yes, good night. Dustin. Keep thinking, I'm like really concerned you're gonna fall in the pool. I keep thinking you're gonna you push me in. No, I would not do that. And I'll rip you in with me. No, you and are. if not, then I will chase you and throw you in. <laughs> you, you couldn't even lift me with Jamaica. Yes, how I you, could. How are you gonna get me in there? Um, you know, the whole thing is that it's like he could never end up in the sea of water, but I don't think they're gonna put him up. I think he wants to get out, so I think. Dang it, that was my vote. I know. I know. No, I, I, no it really I, no, is true. I understand where you're coming from. Of course, everyone feels the same way. Dick feels the same way about Zach also. Um, but you know what? Zach is up to a lot of fucking Shenanigans. weird, weird fucking shit. Like yeah. His, I don't know what he's thinking, but he's like, I think he's, 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 uh, you know, sunk without a paddle, and he's just trying to do yeah. any last fucking... Oh, and tonight he was telling me how... He was going off his highs and lows speech, you know, mm -hmm. uh, that he said tonight. And he said, you know, I just get these lows. And I, like, I was like, oh, really? And he's like, yeah, I just get these, these horrible lows and I have, to get, I have to get high again. And I'm like, you kind of sound like a druggie. <laughs> but he's, whatever. Um, that, nothing is going to bring he's me gonna to take, you. He's going to take the lows offer to go up as a pole. And you think so? do a few things. One, it'll hide the fact that Dustin now thinks he has this great secret bond with Kale. Right. I saw him five times today comforting her, saying, I'm so glad yeah. you're here, blah, 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 Like blah, I said, blah. I saw her jump on him in the right. bathroom. Um, Which, first of all, you were a 40-year-old married woman with kids. Right. That's disgusting. Right. With a 22-year-old gay man. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, she's fucking weird, man. But anyway, um, yeah. I think he'll do that, so that way it makes it look like he's not protecting her. But this really pissed me off, and I may have mentioned this to you, I may not have, I know I said it a few times yesterday. He sat up in that room, and he said, me, 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 me. He said, oh, yeah. she's putty in my hands. She'll vote for me. She'll never vote me out. So why should we get rid of her? Well, what the fuck good does that do any of us? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? And I thought it was so fucking sketchy that she sat there and said to me, I'm really, I'm looking out for Jamaica and Emma and Dustin and you, and I'm thinking, since when and why? Yeah. And you're in an outright alliance. Uh, against us, you don't speak to us. Amber openly hates you. So what the hell do this happen? But Dustin is like, he thinks he's all sly. He's like he's got an extra in with someone else yeah. now. Already. So I think he's gonna take her deal. Well, he's gonna make it out like they're not close at all, and he's gonna try and just send Zach out. And well, if Kale one of them comes down, I bet he puts Jen up. I don't think he's gonna put Nick out. Yeah, but Which just because he puts. But Want Zach out doesn't mean Zach has to go. Right. Which will piss All him right. off, but right. I don't well, really care. I could vote Kale out easily. Yeah, yeah so will sure. I. Like, she's another one of those people that I'm just <clears> going to forgot about. Especially if she's like the last one of their alliance left. Mm -hmm. I do think. I do not Zach see it working out perfect with anyway. all of them going. But it probably still works out okay for us in that scenario. Yeah, but the truth I want is them it'll here. probably be Dick and Danielle that go up, or Dustin and Amber if he makes an ass of himself this right. week, or blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, even if people um, in any way start to try and carry on and, and perceive that, like, you know, we're spending time together, the way I look at it is we're still below Nick and Danielle, Dick yeah. and Danielle, Dustin and Amber. Oh, All these yeah. people have been in it since day one. So even if this catches anyone's attention, um, 
by the time that it gets to us, there'll be three people left anyway. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. you know, it shouldn't be of the greatest concern to anyone because there's so many other pairings that would be so much greater and more obvious that yeah. it doesn't even make any difference. Well, know? okay. Uh, Evie and Danielle, that is, I don't know. There's well, something there. I just... Well, I know you have friends with Danielle, and I have good times with her as well, well but I... I am friends I mean, she does give friend. me a very uneasy feeling yeah. as a player. Um, I'm friends with her because we're both 21 and we're both young and we're both blonde. But it doesn't go past that. Like, ugly. And we're both ugly. <laughs> and, um, like, I hardly ever talk strategy with her, and everybody thinks I do, but I don't. She is a very sneaky. She's, she's the closest left in the house to a Joe. She is. Yeah. She, she, also, I think it's funny because I think, why does she care if the microphone hears what she's saying? She should be concerned about what the people in the house hear her say. Right. She covers her microphone all the time. It's like, it's why are you covering your microphone? It's not a secret from the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, but I have seen her. I, I can't even list. I'm talking dozens upon dozens of times, including for over an hour tonight, her talking to her father. Right. So I don't fucking care if they genuinely do piss each other off or if they are the dearest friends of all time, they will never cast a vote to get the other one out, and anyone would be retarded to want to stick with them in the final three, because the only possible way you win then is if you win the HOH, because right. otherwise They're you're going each home. Other. Yeah. So, um, and they don't need to sit down and have a handshake. If one of them wins, the other one reaps the reward, so, right. you know. If, or, <laughs> well, probably Danielle wouldn't give Dick a penny, but Dick certainly would take care of Danielle if he won the money, so. Well, second place still gets money, so. Well, right, that too, so. Um, I think they're super sketchy. Mm -hmm. I think, I think Nick is on his last legs, but I let's take him out before he recharges. Yeah. And comes up with plan B, you know? Um, I, so, but that's not going to happen this week. I'm fairly certain. Well, what do you, I mean, you've never been, like, a super big fan of his, right? No, I haven't. Not really, I at all. Because I definitely have not. In, um, since, like, the first five days, he was, like, one of a very few people who has never sat right with me at all. Mm -hmm. He just seems like he is just up to something. Him and Kale both are like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I totally agree. I totally agree. I think, honestly, it's not a big deal, and I didn't care to rock the boat, and it didn't make a difference to me, but I don't think we chose the right person this week. Yeah, I don't either. And... If it were later in the game, I would have stood up there and I would have it's all you know, and Jen and Zach, fuck it, I don't fucking care. Like, yeah. let's just do it anyway or whatever. But in week three, that's not necessary or the right yeah. thing to do. But nonetheless, it wasn't the right person. But I don't know what, you know what though? This is what sketched me out about it. Mike? didn't give anyone a reason ever that he was untrustworthy coming after them or anything right. or that he ever. had anything that he was capable of doing. Kale outright sat to my face and told me the things she plans on doing if she stays here. Like what? So, um, or are you, you not know, saying? No, 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 no. About how she's going to protect, you know, those people and how she's going to throw HOHs and how she's, she's going Because it made her just such a horrible target and blah blah blah. Whatever, how, week one. How she, unlike Mike, does have friendships in this house and will have new relationships and can align with people and, and she's seen me telling me all these things. I'm saying she's openly telling me that she's a threat and and we're keeping her and why? And the only reason and I wish I didn't have these like thoughts in my head, the only possible reason is because Amber and Dustin and and Jamika feel like Kale was going to protect them and it was not about really Mike being a threat to them ever it was about the fact that yeah. they think that Kale is an asset to them if, they, if she stays in and um, I don't like that because it, I'm not fracture yeah. like what we have going on right now fine there'll come a time for that and yeah maybe we will rope people in and maybe we'll break off into different units but why do we need to do that right now when we can all guarantee ourselves that we get to stay for another month, you well, know? Well, if we already know she's not going to compete for HOH, then we know she cracks under pressure, then mm -hmm. really we'll take some pruner up. I don't know. Tell me your thought on this. Maybe without speaking to her, you won't have, you know, too much insight. But I, my thought is that 
I think she's full of shit. I don't think she ever rolled over and died. I don't think she was ever, oh, I want to go home. I think she used it as her card oh. that she's like, I'm weak old lady now, so I'm not a thread and I have no friends anymore. So just what can I possibly yeah. do to you and me? Woe, woe is me. 